Okay, I'm doing, I'm really doing this. I'm really doing this. Okay, listen, <laughs> you ain't gonna get nothing professional over here. No aesthetics. You gonna get what you get. It's me. <laughs> no, but hey, y'all, I am nervous. Okay, I gotta remember to look at y'all. I am nervous, okay? But this is something that I really wanna do. I've been wanting to do this for years. And I finally gained the confidence and what else? I guess the strength to do it and come and do this. So this is my first video. If you cannot tell already, I don't have an intro. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't want to be the typical, hey guys, welcome back to my, no, you're going to get whatever you gonna get whatever I say. But for those who don't know, my name is Nika. And yeah, you are gonna get, I don't know, you just gonna get what you get. And that's that, cause yeah. Um, so this particular video is going to be my May empties. I did share, um, I did do a reel on Instagram. So if you're coming from Instagram, hey friend, we already here, so you already know. Um, but I wanted to go into detail of every product that I did go through. Do I like it? Do I not like it? You're about to find out. So I keep all my empties in this big old belligerent bag here. Oh, before we get started, I'm a mom of three. So you're gonna hear a kid or two or three because it is summer break but these babies will be going to summer school tomorrow <laughs> bb bye bye <laughs> no but okay so here are my empties Ooh. all right so i'm just gonna go dig in randomly and tell y'all what i like about each product if i like it do i not like it but spoiler alert i do not go through anything that i do not like if i'm not able to return it i'm gonna throw it away or see if somebody else like it or want it. But I do not keep products I do not like. I do not talk about products I don't like unless I'm telling y'all I don't like it. But I would never show or promote anything I do not like or I don't stand by. I don't do that. So, randomly picking out. So I went through this auto, auto band um, disinfectant spray for fabric and air freshener um i really like this this smells like a baby to me um if you ever had like draft baby um washing powder or the liquid not the powder well they do have powder okay anyways the liquid or like the um the scent boosters it smells just like that um i use it on my bed i use it in the air we use it to clean um so yeah, we went through this. I got this from Walmart, but I feel like you can really get it from anywhere, but I only seen it at Walmart and I've seen it in the Dollar Tree. Love this, already repurchased, definitely recommend. Next is the Ancient Cosmetics Candy Cane and Peppermint Body Butter. Y'all, I never thought I would like a, to smell like a peppermint, but I, I don't know, I think it's the older I've gotten um i really love is the smell of like essential oils the earthy um like the eucalyptus the lavender i've really grown to really like those type of scents because i feel like they're very therapeutic and being a mama and a whole wife baby i need some therapy going on okay so um i went through this i got this during the fall and I went through this whole big old thing. And I don't care. I know a lot of people only like to wear candy cane scents during like winter and you know, fall when it's cold. Maybe whenever I have a headache or I feel congested, this helped your girl out. So this I would definitely repurchase. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. Um, but you can only catch this during the fall and winter. Um 
So yeah, I think I bought this during their Black Friday sale. I think it was like $8 for all the eight ounce jars. So yeah, I picked this up. If I'm not looking at the camera, y'all, excuse me. I'm gonna I'm get it together. This is my first video. So we gonna get it together. Um, What's next? Okay, so the Equate um, mouthwash. This is compared to Therabreath. So maybe we on a budget over here so <laughs> this is about three dollars cheaper than therabreath and um sorry y'all did the lighting change oh okay yes yes okay so this is like three dollars cheaper than therabreath i usually get their therabreath the um the green bottle but we'd be trying to save some coins over here so i started using this now i do like it I really do like it. It's, it doesn't burn my mouth. I cannot stand mouthwashes that burn. I can't. I can't. I'm a sensitive girl everywhere, okay? So, <laughs> I can't. I don't want my mouth on fire, but I want it to work, and I want my breath to smell good, right? So, um, this does help keep your breath fresh all day. But, now, if you have some onions, uh-uh. This ain't going to kill the onion. This ain't going to kill the onion, Okay? let you know that now so uh, that's just just letting you know um but this is a really good mouthwash it's affordable and i have repurchased this a few times i have a new one in my bathroom right now so i do recommend it i'll give it a eight and a half out of ten but i prefer their breath next y'all if you are one of my friends from instagram you know how i feel about this body wash right here and this company so this is the goddess of the sea nurse body wash it says um great for killing bacteria clearing sinuses body aches and sim oops, stimulating blocked breathing passages i swear i can read don't don't try me uh, Moringa powder added for beneficial skin conditions such as acne, eczema, skin allergies, and rashes, and it contains antioxidants and antiseptic properties. This, if you have any type of like allergies or if you are sick, sorry, it's not wanting to focus, but if you are sick, have any type of allergies, girl, if you have a headache, your body is aching, you can't breathe out your nose, asthma, or you just want to experience, look over here, girl, and experience, this will give that to you, okay? It gives you that cooling sensation. I mean, cooling. It's like if you ever use Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. This is 20 times better. I, I promise you, okay? You need this. Even if you're not sick, girl, this is an experience, okay? So, yes. 20 out of 10 recommend um goddess of the sea beauty is a black owned company one of my favorite well my top favorite skincare companies right now you are going to see a lot of products from her i hope my kids ain't too loud because i'm trying not to you know what i'm saying i'm trying not to do all that but it is what it is we gonna we gonna push through okay this is reality this is real but yeah this 20 out of 10 definitely recommend you need it you need it you need it um i don't have a backup this was my backup but i need to re-up whenever she restocks that's the only thing you got to catch the restocks you guys to sign up for emails um text messages follow her on instagram yeah so next is another product from goddess of the sea this is her premium feminine wash bar if, if you one of my friends already from Instagram, you know how I feel about this. Anyway, so this is the Yoni Bar. Um, this is a feminine cleanser for your vagina. The outside of the vagina, okay? Not, not the inside, girl. The outside. Um, okay, I'm going to read what it's for. It says, superior, natural, and organic daily soap for the vulva, for your vulva. Formulated with natural ingredients that have been traditionally known to help aid in maintaining a healthy pH balance. Formulated with antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral compounds that protects your pH balance. 
best to pair it with our mermaid nectar yoni oil after cleansing y'all this right here she has the bar form and she also has the gel form i prefer the gel but i like to use the bar um on my, my whole body when i'm during my cycle and i like using the bar on my back hind, my back side you know what i'm saying so protect your ph from the front end of that because you can get the bacteria from the back so why not just cut all of that out and use your yoni products on in the back too you know what i'm saying tip i'm putting y'all on if y'all don't already start using your feminine products that you use in the front in the back okay that might be the, that might be why you're having problems sis i'm just saying trust me because the girl be giving me problems so i gotta be very careful what i'm using but i love this i have no bad reaction to it it helps get me back together when the girl is feeling a little off okay um now wait a minute i must say if you have never tried a yoni product before friend if you're not used to the cooling sensation this gonna scare you okay um it is very strong this is the the strongest one that she has there's three three different formulations there's a gentle there is what is that one called shoot dang it anyway she got a gentle one in the middle a middle level and then she has the premium what is it called sweet nectar gentle sweet nectar and then this is the strongest one which is the premium now this is the strongest one if you suffer from any type of um bv um yeast smells itching irritation goddess of the sea I, I, hey she has the best that i've used so far and i love it and i i'm going to repurchase 10 out of 10 love this the smell i wish i had the bar to show y'all her bars be so pretty and the body washes but um let's move on because i can talk about that all day long next is the dr teal's menstrual relief um epsom salt of course i only use this no i'm lying i use this while i wasn't on my menstrual also um i like this i like the smell i love the scent it's like earthy and just pretty it's really pretty has um pure epsom salt chasberry i don't know what chasberry is friend ginger and evening primrose and then it has essential oils to help calm the mood and up uplift the mood yes ma'am it's okay it's just water this is another reason why it took me so long to start recording videos because baby i always get interrupted and i'm not staying up all night to do no videos nope I'm not. Anyway, so back to <laughs> back to this. Um, I do like this. It kind of scares me though because I'm sensitive down there, so I have to be really careful with things that I am using, especially bathing. Um, but this didn't give me any problems down there. It definitely soothed and helped release some tension and ease my muscles and pains and stuff like that. Um, will I repurchase? I don't know. I don't hate it. I like it. I like it, but I don't know if I want it again. I'd rather try like a natural company. Like this actually had good a good rating on the Yuka app, if you know about the Yuka app. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would repurchase. Maybe. I don't know, but I did like it. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Next is the Febreze fabric spray the gain one love this definitely definitely recommend 10 out of 10 smells good and it makes your bed smell really really good i use this on my bed my sheets my curtains um so yeah definitely recommend that another goddess of the sea product this is her lavender feminine wipes love 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 these i will always have these always always they're flushable they do smell like lavender so if you don't like lavender i don't know how you would like these but it's not like a crazy overwhelming lavender scent um it's plant-based ph balance soothing ultra refreshing and removes odors yes it does you get 25 of them 
and yeah these are my favorite wipes so 20 out of 10 recommend those oh wait we'll save that one for last because i don't like that at all so we gonna save that one for last next since we talking about goddess of the sea we just gonna get all her products out right now because i think i have one two three three more this is her strawberries and champagne body wash this is gone now this was um like her spring valentine's valentine release y'all if she come out with this again next year you need it yeah if you like strawberry it just smells like champagne strawberries vanilla creamy fresh strawberries this is really good 20 out of 10 recommend i love this this is my second bottle um i'm so glad that i was able to get my hands on it before it went away but she has new scents basically every season so um yeah that's a good one i love that one so next is her love potion yoni gel y'all this this is stronger than this is stronger than her premium grill <laughs> grill okay so this one is basically the same as her premium um as far as what it does um it's just a rose scent so this is more like rose and peppermint type of scent this one is the seduction formula I'm not going to get into too much detail, but y'all should kind of pick up what I'm putting down, okay? Um, it says sensual seduction, natural and organic daily feminine wash for your vulva, formulated with natural ingredients that have been tradition traditionally known to help in maintaining a healthy pH balance. The same thing that I read about her premium bar um i love this this is my second ooh, my third my fourth or fifth bottle um when she first released this this was released for valentine and during the valentine's day season and um she she came out with the four ounce bottles first and then she released the eight ounce bottles when i tell you baby i was on it with them eight ounces because i went through the four ounce bottles so quick okay it smells so good oh it smells like rose like rose water and peppermint so good this one is spicy okay she's a, she's spicy that peppermint she's spicy in this one so this is not for the faint of heart this is not for the weak um if you like those type of sensations you will love this it smells good um would i repurchase this yes but i am going to be honest i like the premium um a little bit better because it's it's a little more milder and feel is that a word milder whatever <laughs> it's not as strong as this one and some days i don't want all that extra you know what i mean it's like you want just chill a little bit you know what i'm saying so 10 out of 10 would i repurchase yes but i do prefer the premium do i have one here no, I don't. I do prefer the premium gel, but I love this also, and I would definitely repurchase it, and I definitely um, recommend. This is the Love Potion, again, by the way. All right. I think this is the... No, it's not. I lied. I got two more. Okay. So, next is her Old Baby Oat Baby Wash. Y'all. Johnson and Johnson, who? This smells like Johnson and Johnson on a thousand. Like the fragrance, girl, will have you smelling so good and clean. It um it says it soothes and oh soothes the skin to reduce eczema, dry skin, psoriasis, irritation, and loss of moisture. This is the um it says gentle soothing and moisturizing. I love this. 20 out of 10 highly recommend i will buy this over and over and over as much as i can catch it um because these go pr pretty fast these and her bar she has a bar version of this as well i love both i've had both um i would definitely repurchase this love this all her stuff y'all all her stuff i'm in love with everything i haven't been disappointed in anything Okay. 
Next, girl, this right here, before I even tell y'all what it is, I love it. I love it. I have another one on the way, and I cannot wait till it gets here because your girl got some dry skin, honey. I am dry. I'm a dry girl. So I need all the moisture I can get. This is her papaya turmeric and honey face mask. I am so grateful that I got to experience this. Thank you so much to my friend, my girl, Lauren, aka Loso, Loso Natural. Let me not mess it up. I will try to link her channel in the description. Girl, I don't know how to do none of these. Okay, I'm new to this. I ain't true to this. So I gotta learn as I'm going and I can't keep putting it off because I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. We gonna learn. We gonna learn. Then we gonna go. But anyways, I'm gonna link her channel below if I if I know how. Um, <laughs> But I love her. I, I won this in her giveaway. Thank you, Lauren, girl, because this right here has become my favorite mask. Okay? It's moisturizing. It helps to soothe irritations from any redness, bumps, acne, acne scars. Um, the writing is really little, but it claims to help calm acne, fade dark marks, wrinkles, inflammation, and more. The ingredients are aloe vera gel, which is the first ingredient. Aloe vera gel is good for your skin, honey. Papaya oil, tamanu oil, manuka honey, turmeric powder, and vitamin E beads. <laughs> this writing is so little, girl, I can't even see with my glasses on. But yes, another 10 out of 10. You need it. And it's in stock right now. So if you have dry skin, um, sensitive skin, bump the bumps, irritation, because y'all know them, them cystic bumps, which I got right now. Hello. I got a patch on it, but will help calm that and this is the papaya turmeric and honey mask love it love it love it y'all i'm about to cry because this right here this right here oh not a hair uh forever bring on a skincare y'all the strawberry macaron i'm not about to fight with y'all about this macaron is it macaroon or is it macaron i'm gonna say macaron but i don't know I really don't know. Strawberry macaron. Macaron. Whatever. And whipped vanilla body butter. Y'all, did this smells so good. It smells like a strawberry cheesecake and vanilla. If you are a grandma girly, I can't even tell y'all to go get this because. Fran is taking a little break from her business to get herself together, and I applaud her um, for that, because sometimes you, you got to step back sometimes and, you know, figure it out. So I applaud her for that. I'm sad because this is real good. Her products are so good. I'm still, um, I'm still going to support when she does open back up and have more products. Definitely her formula the texture, the moisture, the consistency, it, all of it is good. The scent, it lasts. Um, I don't know why I'm opening it, ain't nothing in there. But it smells so good. If you like Pink Velvet Cupcake from Bath & Body Works, if you like Buttercups and Berry Bellini, if you like, like Strawberry Cheesecake or Strawberry Pound Cake, whatever that scent is from there, you will love love this i'm so sad because i was trying to hold on for dear life to this but since i had to go i had a corner now like let me just finish it up so i can keep my other products in rotation but yes 10 out of 10 forever brianna skincare this is her strawberry macaron and with vanilla body butter love it love it love it and i cannot wait till she comes back because my girl's gonna come back better than ever and i'm excited and i'm here for it and her other product i went through was the her soothe whipped body scrubby soap i'm not being dramatic this right okay let me calm down okay first of all this was for like sensitive skin eczema if you just wanted something that's not doing too much, just to really nourish and, you know, exfoliate, this is perfect. This is perfect. The scent is like a cherry almond scent. Um, it's gentle, but you can still feel the um, 
the little exfoliating beads. I'm not sure. Oh, sugar cane. Okay, it was sugar cane. And it lathered. This is some good stuff. That cherry almond scent. Girl. Mmm. Mmm. That smelled good. Okay, let me calm down. Okay, but yes, it had oatmeal. Let's see, shea butter, forming, foaming soap bar. Let me let me slow down, girl. Honey, glycerin, cane sugar, and optifin. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Collodial oats, oatmeal extract, and fragrance. Yo, this was so good. Ten out of ten. So so good. And I had the body butter as well. I think that was in last month's. Um, oh, the month before last. Empties. I had so good. I cannot wait till she comes back because period. Let me come on because <laughs> I'm already on 27 sec uh, minutes. Next is my Alafia Authentic Black Soap, African Black Soap. This is in the scent Eucalyptus Tea Tree. This is my favorite, one of my favorite body washes other than um, Goddess of the Sea body washes and bar soaps this right here multi multi-purpose you can use it as body wash facial cleanser shampoo hand soap and for shaving y'all this is so good i get it from the, the beauty supply store for $8.49 can y'all see that $8.49 um also at walmart it's $9.99 i think walgreens finally started having some black stuff in there so it's in Walgreens. This is so, so good. It's a, it's like a detoxifying type of body wash. If you've ever used black soap, African black soap, you know that it can be drying, but it's really good for like eczema, acne, um, dark spots. It deeply cleanses your skin, um, but this does not dry my skin out. I love this because it's, it's detoxifying, but it doesn't dry you out. And... Um, it makes your skin feel so smooth. I use it with my African net sponge. Sponges, I do not use washcloths whatsoever because they don't they don't cut it for me personally. I used to, but I, I don't use them anymore. But this with an African net sponge, and then you slather in some body oil or some, some body butter. Please. Baby skin. Y'all see the skin? Yeah. It's this, because I've been using the crap out of this. 10 out of 10 definitely recommend i love it i will always always use this i'm tempted to use it as a face wash but i'm using something currently that i like but yeah i like this one i like the unscented one and what's my other one the other one i like the peppermint one but this one is number one body acne bumps oh, excuse me irritation it'll get you clean if you use this you won't have to double cleanse i'm telling you you won't have to but do what you want i'm just saying but yeah love this next this was this is not even my empties this was my daughter's empty she's three um this is the hello bello sweet cream shampoo and wash i really like this um it's pretty natural from what i gather it says created without synthetic fragrances phthalates Phthalates, phthalates. This P word right here, phthalates, whatever. P and parabens, <laughs> girl. Please, it's hyperallergenic, tear-free, and pediatrician approved. I like how this smell. It smells like it smells like sweet cream, but it's very light. Um, it did not irritate her skin. It didn't break her out. She has eczema. So I kind of keep it really minimal with her skincare products. But after we're done with her current um, body wash, we're gonna go back to the unscented Alafia African Black Soap. But I do like this. And this makes really good bubbles. I did use a little bit of it when I took a bubble bath because I had no bubble bath for myself. Use some of this, girl. Yes, you can use this for a uh, bubble bath. If you're sensitive down there, I highly recommend this for you ladies who are sensitive down there. Yeah, um, where I get this from? Walmart. Got it from Walmart. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this. Walgreens, Walmart, Target. Yeah, Hello Bello is everywhere. I will repurchase, and I do like it. Next, oh, my favorite company. This is my other favorite company. They have my favorite, my favorite 
body scrubs are from Ancient Cosmetics. I'm gonna show both of them. Um, I have the blueberry and peppermint body scrub and the eucalyptus breathe easy. Oh, breathe easy eucalyptus and spearmint body scrub. Yo, these body scrubs, if you wanna give me a gift, yeah. I will choose these body scrubs over any body scrubs any time of the day. Now, what I will say, if you do not like that oily feeling after a scrub, if you like to feel dry and just clean afterwards, you ain't gonna like this, friend. But if you are a dry girl and you like to feel moisturized and silky and oily, you don't even have to moisturize after using these. You do not. I do because I'm extra. And I like to be slathered. When I get in this bed, I want to look like fried chicken. Okay, glazed donut. You already know. And if you know me, you know me in Ancient Cosmetics. It's like it. It's like this. Okay. So, yeah, I've got through these two. I can't even tell y'all how many of these I've had. Y'all probably going to see these every month. I ran out currently, but once the funds start funding, we're getting back to it. But yeah, so I love these. 10 out of 10, I love these. My favorite scrubs, was, I mean, whatsoever. Hands down, I really like the Even Skin one. The health, I think it's the Even Skin Healthy Glow. The yellow one, that's my top favorite. But these two, it, I'll take any scent. Any scent. 10 out of 10. All right, where we at? Okay, so now we are at, uh, what's this? The Eco Styler Gel. This is the Argan Oil one. I like this. Um, I'm on the market for a natural gel that doesn't leave as many flakes. And I want like a black gel, but not Pro Style. We don't use Pro Style over here. No shade. No shade. Baby, I used to be Pro Styled down. You're me. But <laughs> we've evolved since high school and, and middle school. But yeah, um, I'm looking for a black gel, a natural all natural gel because this starts to flake over time i used it i used it to do my little twisties okay i use it to do my coils i use it on my edges and i do like it i've had lord knows how many um containers of this i do like it i'll give it a nine out of ten because it does flake after a while but yeah that's that all right next i went through the oh C.O. Bigelow, my favorite lip balm. Y'all, if y'all shop at Bath and Body Works, y'all know this. Y'all know this is the truth with two Fs. The truth. <laughs> yeah, this is that girl. It's a nighttime, the nighttime balm. I only wear it at nighttime because it say nighttime. But you can wear this whenever you want to, friend. It's, it's moisturizing. Ooh. It's nourishing. It's moisturizing. It keep your lips looking plump and moisturized and glistening and all that good stuff. 10 out of 10, recommend. It's a little little for eight something, but it's worth it. But I will try to catch it when they have a mini sale, okay? So yeah, definitely re would repurchase this, love this. All right, we getting down to the nitty gritty, y'all. Okay, next is the Ocha Swevin Perfume. This has a special place. In my heart because this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK. I don't have Baccarat Rouge 540 type of money, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what Baccarat smell like. All I know is what this smell like and it's supposed to be a dupe for it. So if this smell good, I know Baccarat is hitting, but I will never know. And in that, in that same, in that breath, that same breath, this girl, 50 out of 10. I need bottles on bottles, okay? I didn't get to really enjoy this because I ended up giving it to my son because he ran out of cologne and I have all this stuff. So Sharon's caring. But I was like, boy, I should not have given you that. I could have gave you a white t-shirt. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would definitely repurchase this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's long. The longevity is there. It smells good. It's long lasting. I smell it on my clothes days after I've worn it. Definitely recommend. 
and I will be re-upping re on this very, very soon. Okay, y'all, we down to the last product here. This one is a no, a, a heck to the no. Fruit punch, anywho. So I got this Nika K Pure Lip Oil from the beauty supply store. I love the beauty supply, okay? Cause you get all the lip glosses you want for the low ski. And I love me some lip gloss, okay? Yeah. So this is it, right? The scent is Fruit Punch. Friend, this don't smell like fruit punch. This smell like bad breath and behind. Like, behind. Yeah. I ain't gonna say that, that word, but y'all know what I mean. This stinks. Fruit punch. Who, who, <laughs> who said it was okay to release this scent? Who approved this scent? And I'm not even, I'm not even being dramatic. This stank. Ooh, uh-uh. Yeah. This stinks. And then, then I tried to, like, put some on my hand to make sure I wasn't tripping. It smelled like bad breath. Like, I'm throwing that in the trash. All this stuff is going in the trash anyways. But that right there, friend, don't get, don't get fruit punch, please. It smells like bad breath. And then when you talk, it's going to smell like your breath stink. Don't do it. Get coconut. Because coconut don't, the coconut one don't smell like nothing. That made me mad, girl. Fruit punch got me getting all excited and spending my little two ninety nine, three ninety nine, however much that was, for it to smell like morning breath. No, ma'am. So y'all, that's it. That's it. We done. Um, I did a lot of talking, but that's me. You gonna hear a lot of talking over here. Um, you gonna hear me rambling. Um, sometimes I might get straight to the point. Sometimes I may not. Um, what to expect from me? I'm random, I'm very random, and I am a little bit spontaneous, so I can't really pinpoint what I will be doing, but I'm gonna be doing all the girly things, all the things, all the things my little heart desires and whatever God puts on my heart, because we rep Jesus Christ over here, period. Big G, not the little one, period. So you gonna hear some, you gonna hear a word or two now, okay? Just letting y'all know. So yes, that is my empties video, I'm gonna go. I don't know how much noise is in this here video, but I promise you, my next one won't be so noisy because I got kids, like I said. And if you a parent and you do YouTube, y'all already know. Y'all already know. The noise is just, it's just gonna happen. See? It's just gonna happen. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna get up out of here. God bless y'all. I love y'all. If you wanna subscribe, you're more than welcome to. Join the family. My name is Nika, if you did not remember. And yeah, we're going to have some laughs. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some real talk. We're going to have some girly things to share. Um, I don't know everything. I don't know it all. But I know a little bit. I know a little bit of something. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining enough for you to stick around. This is me. This is my personality. Um, and I hope that with each video, y'all will get to know me a little bit more better a little bit more so i'm gonna head on out and throw this trash away because it's doing too much but i'm gonna go bye